Good morning, my people. Good morning, wherever you are hearing from. This is Jolly Shoko TV. Updates with us, the reach us now. Updates with just the rituals now. Osh Poppy bags one thirty five months in jail, order to pay one point seven million restitution. <laughs> hey, United States District Court, you know, on Monday for the Central District of California has finally sentenced Instagram celebrity Ramona Baz alone, who are popularly known as Osh Poppy, to eleven years and three months in federal prison for conspiring to launder tens of millions of dollars from online scam. <clears throat> Osh Poppy was on Monday sentenced by United States District Judge Otis D. Right to who also ordered him to pay one million seven hundred thirty-two thousand eight hundred forty-one dollar in restitution to two fraud victims. Record that Osh Poppy in April 2021 pleaded guilty to money laundering. He was arrested in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, in June 2020, and has remained in federal custody since his expulsion from the United Arab Emirates. He admitted to attempting to steal more than $1.1 million from someone who wanted to fraud the new children's school in Qatar. Court documents in California say the first trick is victim into providing funds for the school. Hmm. by playing the roles of bank official and creating a bogus website, according to a statement from the then-acting U.S. Anthony Tracy Wixon on the U.S. Justice Department website. Abbas also admitted to several other cyber and business email compromise schemes that cumulatively cost more than $24 million in loses, the U.S. Justice Department said. Abbas had bragged on social media about his lavish lifestyle, a lifestyle funded by his involvement in transactional fraud and money laundering conspiracy, targeting victims around the world, said United States Anthony Martin Estrada. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Osh Poppy. He apologized for his crime to George Otis D. Wright in the handwritten note, saying he will use his personal funds to pay back his victims. He also said he had only made three hundred thousand dollars a wow from the crime he has been tried for. Among some of his reported crimes are in January, recall twenty nineteen, ab twenty nineteen years, Abbas conspired with. Allow Mary, a convicted money launderer, to launder funds stolen from banks in matter by providing account information for banks in Romania and Bulgaria. He admitted that the intended loss with respect to the Matthias Bank was approximately $14.7 million. Wow, very good. Also in May 2019, Abbas conspired with Alumeri to launder millions of pounds stolen from a professional soccer club in the United Kingdom as well as British company. He, he, okay, and in another conspirator duped a Qatar business person into paying approximately $330,000 to fund an investor's account. Wow. To facilitate the loan to open a school about Abbas specifically directed the victim to send $100,000 to a bank account controlled by a conspirator and $230,000. Hey, all this money we will not mention where they see uh, to the bank account of a lustry watch seller. Abbas used those funds for his personal benefit, including purchasing a $230,000 Richard Mai RM11 watch. Hey, Ordinary watch, $230,000. Well done. Which he arranged to have bought to him from New York to Dubai. The watch made numerous appearances on Abbas' wrist on his, on his now defunct Instagram account, often with the hashtag Richard Mad. Approximately $50,000 of, pros, of proceeds from the scheme were used to fraudulently acquire a St. Christopher. St. Kitts and Navy citizenship and a passport for Abbas through a sham marriage to a St. Kitts citizen. By his own admission, during just an 18-month period, the vendor conspired to launder over $300 million. Yeah. Prosecutors wrote in a sentencing memorandum. 
wow 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 so hush puppy has been in this mess since 2020 when he has been arrested and now and now he's facing the warrant and you know people said okay since you don't enjoy life you are going to face the warrant so that is that about hush puppy this morning another one i will be bringing to you is an arrested TikToker to be given 20 stroke of cane. This one is very hilarious. Or slandering Kano State Governor. Arrested TikToker to be given 20 stroke of cane for slandering Kano State Governor. Oh, they don't arrest two TikToker user. A magistrate court in Kano on Monday ordered the flogging of two Kanewood TikTok skit maker Barak Mohammed and Nafisi Muhammad. They have been remanded in prison custody for weeks for allegedly defaming the character of the governor of Kano, Abdullah Ganduje, in one of their comedy skits. The ruling delivered by the magistrate Amino Gambari on Monday ordered that the two boys be flogged with 20 latches of cane each, among others, conditions. The judgment also ordered that the skit maker sweep the magistrate complex for one month and pay 20,000 naira each for public disturbance. The court also ordered them to return to their TikTok handles and other social media platforms to make another video apologizing to the governor in the same manner as the video they earlier published. So Mr. Gambari said that he hoped the punishment will serve as a deterrent to other social media users. To respect the integrity of other people, especially the elders. <laughs> the prosecution counsel Wadawada expressed his satisfaction on the court decision over the case and also hope that others will learn from this. Hey, Uniqiu Pekin, who recently finished his NYC and his partner Napisi appeared in a TikTok video skit in which the former acted an Islamic scholar and the other as his interpreter. Daily Nigerian report that the deal made his kid the Python Ganduji as a <laughs> as a corrupt politician who sold every available public plot of land in the state. Wow, 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 wow. This one is hilarious. So now they are going to face the warrant too. They will be given 20 stroke of King Ish. So the court says, okay, this one will serve as lessons to others. In the famine people's integrities wow all right my people um this is where i'm going to stop for now and i will be bringing you some other updates uh, as times reach so don't forget if you're just coming across this channel for the very first time don't forget to like don't forget to like and don't forget to comment on our content do well as to subscribe and click on your uh, notification hey hello everyone this is Jolly Shoko TV. You want to enjoy all updates on entertainment, news, and culture. This is the right channel for you. Right now, before I bring you what I have for you, if you're just coming across this channel for the very first time, I want you to subscribe on this YouTube channel. Please, so as to enjoy all the content we'll be dropping back to back. And don't forget to press the notification button as to get you remind anytime we drop a content on this channel stay tuned and enjoy what i have for you now i'll be right back